ちょっとなんかしばらく私泣いてたのでまあブログをしたい気持ちがあんまりなかったのでちょっと休憩をしてたんですけどでも今海鮮丼を食べてもうすっごく美味しくてすごい新鮮だし今みんなで食べたところな
my second day there and that was on a Monday and now it is currently Saturday so I haven't vlogged in a little bit but I've just been kind of having an emotional self-reflection type week and I'm also leaving Japan very very soon and I think it's hitting me really hard and it's making me really emotional I think I'm at this kind of like weird point in life right now where if I go back, I'm kind of just like faced with reality and I don't know what I'm gonna be doing and it's really scary. I feel like I've kind of come out here to Japan to kind of escape from my thoughts and my reality and um, I've just been having the time of my life out here. I literally had the best time. I feel like I'm going to remember this trip forever and I'm always going to just cherish it and always look back on it as like the greatest thing I've ever done because I honestly just met some amazing people. I got to spend so much time with my family and I just just had the best trip and I think I'm just really feeling emotional about it. Currently as I'm filming this I'm leaving in like a little over a week and I'm actually going to another hotel next week so I still have some time to kind of enjoy myself and I'm actually seeing some friends next week as well so that'll all be really nice but yeah I just kind of took a break from the vlogging just because I haven't really done anything too crazy honestly these past few days just kind of been recharging and figuring out my life and trying to figure out what I am who I am <laughs> anyways but today I'm just out on a walk I actually walked along this water Thing, scenic route the second or third day or something that I was out here it's just kind of like taking me back to that time I feel like that just went by so fast because when I did that when I walked along this trail that was three months ago now and it's just so crazy この間全然ブログしなかったんですけど、まあ、いろいろとちょっとエモーショナルな1週間でもあって、でもうちょっとしたらまた私カナダに帰っちゃうので、なんか帰りたくないっていう気持ちもあって寂しいなってすごく思
考えてることとかをまとめるみたいな感じで最近この長い散歩が好きなんですけど And yesterday I went to karaoke actually for two hours just on my own and it felt so good to just sing I feel like I kind of de-stressed myself so that was really nice Yeah, I'm trying my best By the time you guys see this footage I would have gotten back to Canada a long time ago just because these vlogs are super um, like delayed I wonder what I'll be doing when I'm editing this vlog right now <laughs> Anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are all doing well. If you guys need anyone to talk to, just remember that I am here. I am in the comments. I am on Instagram. You can message me anywhere you would like to. I'm just going to continue this walk and show you guys the view and that'll be it. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you take care of your mental health and I hope you're all doing super well. Um, if you are feeling under the weather and the weather is nice outside, definitely go for a long walk or something. Like I feel like that's just super refreshing and I've been really enjoying it honestly so even though it's like super hot in Vancouver or not Vancouver <laughs> I'm like already in like Vancouver mode um it's pretty hot in Tokyo yeah I don't know it's like sunset right now so it's like not too hot ということで今日のブログはここまでにしたいと思いますいろいろとねなんかみんなも悩みとか話したいこととかあったらぜひコメントとかインスタの DM でも何でも連絡してくださいまあ、最近なんか気分上がらないなっていう人もぜひ散歩行ってみてください本当に気持ちよくて今のこの風もすごく気持ちいいし長い散歩でも行ってみてくださいで水もいっぱい飲むことも忘れないように最近はね東京もすごく暑いから今夕方だから歩けるけど昼はねちょっと暑すぎて気持ちの整理っていうよりももう。熱中症にならないように気をつけるっていうような感じの散歩になると思うんですけど、まあ、今日のブログも見てくれてありがとうございます本当にこのブログを編集してる時はもうカナダに特に書いてあると思うからその時は一体私は何をしてるんだろうってすごい気になるところなんですけどのブログがすごいあの遅れて上がってるから OK I've talked for forever I will see you in the next video and the next video will be a happy fun vlog so make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the video and check out my channel for all of these fun adventurous Japan vlogs that I've been uploading yeah I really appreciate your guys' support and I will see you in the next video bye If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter?